Hi, well today I'm bending the, all the components for the Sussex chairs. I'm bending the rear legs and the arms. And what I'm doing, I'm boiling them in my bending bath. So it's a boiling copper bath I've made out of an old central heating hot water cylinder. And I've made some bending formers to actually help get the compression that I need to bend the components once they've got nice and hot. So I'll be boiling them for about an hour and then well, let's hope for the best it works. So I'll show you the setup and we'll film the bending. Well, this is my bending bath and it's just really a copper central heating cylinder that I've cut around rather a lot to make into a long trough. And I've just soft soldered it together. And as long as I keep it filled with water, that soft solder holds perfectly okay. It's got a standard box type construction, as you can see with the way I've done the ends. A windbreak here just to keep fat off. That's it. Burner itself is a heavy duty catering gas burner, and I've got a gas cylinder for my supply. All the components to be bent are just weighted so they're underneath the water. And in that polythene bag, there is a heavy bit of metal which is in polythene to keep the tannin off the wood. So let me keep that down a bit. Anyway. They're heating up quite nicely. I'll give them up to an hour and I'll bend the arm components first as they're thinner and then I'll go for the legs. My bending form for the arm components is simply this um, two blocks of wood curved and you put the arm in and then press the two bits of wood together. So what I'm doing, I'm actually using a bench vise. There we are, put a bit of wood in and tighten up the vise. This is my bending former for the legs and it's essentially some shaped pieces of wood that will go over the two legs which should be held in this clamp and then they're just tightened down. So I've got routed channels and then these blocks which bolt down. The actual bolt downs all they are, it's just heavy duty bolts on studding and I've welded um, a bit of conduit on the end just to give a T-bar, make them easier to work. It's as simple as that. So that's my bending form for the rear legs. Okay, I'm going to get the fine spindles now for the side arms and pop those in the bend, so we'll see how it goes. Well, I've got five spindles here and so that gives me a spare. There really steaming off here. I'm wearing my gloves which is just as well because they are very hot. Bend in slowly. Try and get it as straight as I can. Have I got them in the right position? A little bit further along I think. Oh dear, I don't like this when it's not got much time. They're cooling obviously all the time. Ben's going in now. I think that's going okay. I'm getting a little bit nervous. Tiny bit of breakout on one. Let's see at the top there. Let's get that in tight and firm. Right, that's in. And on. So I'm now just doing a final heat fair on the side arms. The legs obviously are still boiling away as well. Um, it's started to snow again. There we are. I should be on my allotment actually. I need to really catch up. We're doing a lot of allotment work, but um, I'm not <laughs> because of the weather. So I thought I'd press on and get some chairs done. Here are the arms. I've got three of them, so I've got a spare. The spare is a bit of a rough one, but better have a spare than not. In position, again, they're cooling down very quickly. So let's just get on and get them bending. Okay, so far, still okay. Guys, taking some pressure on this. Still okay. I'm looking for damage on the actual arms as I bend, but I think they're going to, they're all right. Right, I'm not gonna go much further than that. Right, they are surviving. This is a little bit nerve wracking, okay. I don't think I want to go too much more. It does take some pressure, I think possibly. Oh, 
That's it. So here's a close up of the arms. So I'm going to leave those in the vise now for a fair old while, probably a day actually, just to make sure they nicely dry out in there. And I may actually put my stove in the, in the shed back on, get the heat up. And here are the um, side stretchers. I'm doing the final bowl now on the rear legs. I've just tucked them well underneath the water and it's boiling away quite furiously, which is great. So I'll be ready before long. They have at the moment had getting on for an hour. I do want to give them a full hour, being a thicker section. They have been lower in the trough, so I think they've been taking more of the heat. Rear legs have now had a good hour, about an hour and five minutes. So I'm gonna pop them in and hope for the best. So in the bending form, on the rest of that, to work quickly here. Clamp on, tighten up. Losing heat all the time, so I can't afford to dilly dally here. Right, pressure on. We really need two people for this. Going okay so far. Okay, it's going well. Famous last words. That's probably Good enough, actually. Oh, I don't want to overdo it. Bent legs. There'll be a little bit of spring back, is it? Take the clamps off. Which makes me feel I want to keep going with a bit more curvature. Well, I hope you enjoyed that bending. I have to say, I did quite enjoy it. It was a little bit tense making for me because I don't want it going wrong. But got a good set of bends here. And um, so, Sussex chair bending done, which is great. Not certain what the next video will be. Um, possibly seat construction, possibly, goodness, some assembly. It's coming on now, actually. Um, nice position to be getting to. We're well, here are my chickens who seem to benefit from all the wood chip that I produce. Suffering a bit today because it's, it's cold. I've been giving them a bit more corn than usual to keep them going. That one there lays blue eggs.